Tekken 7 hits consoles in June. Seven completely new fighters are here for the last King of Iron Fist tournament. Let's start with Akuma. The baddest dude from Street Fighter has made his way into the Tekken universe. Gameplay-wise, Akuma is in a world of his own. He still plays like a Street Fighter character, with Hadoukens, Shoryukens, and his famous Ultra intact. He even has his own EX bar. Kazumi Mishima is the wife of Heihachi and mother of Kazuya, and her fighting style is similar to the rest of the family. Tekken 7 is the Matriarch series debut, and she's brought with her a damn tiger. Waki Chloe is one of the most polarizing additions. Many in the community love her, but she's a bit much for others. Her combat style is as flamboyant as the character design. She also has one of the most savage ultra attacks in the game. Josie is a new character, but she's essentially a female version of Bruce Irvine from previous Tekken. Josie is a kickboxer, and also the franchise's first Filipino fighter. Get ready to fly! Take this! Shaheen is Tekken's first Middle Eastern character. He's one of the fastest fighters and was a hit when he first appeared in arcades in 2015. Gigas is up next and is brought to you by the same folks who made the Jack Robot seen in previous Tekken games. Enhanced with a freaky suit of armor, Gigas is a generically altered fighter with the need to destroy Heihachi built into his DNA. Katarina is an easy to play character for beginners. She enters the King of Iron Fist tournament hoping to use the prize money to fund the search for a missing foster father. That leaves Claudio, leader of the Archers of Sirius, a group of exorcists that battle the supernatural. Why is the world going so topsy turvy? And how is Heihachi not dead yet? Isn't he like 140 by now? Claudio hopes to find the answers to these questions. 